Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share sections of Google Books in your Google Classroom or in Google Sites. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm at books.google.com, which is Google's tool for searching for books and within books. Let's say I'm looking for a book about Mount Everest. So I'm just going to type in Everest. And I have this big list of books about Mount Everest. Now, I'm going to refine my results to just free Google eBooks. So these are things I can read in their entirety online and or download. Let's pick this one here, the first one to come up. Mount Everest or Reconnaissance, 1921. So let's take a look at that book. Now here, it's launched me right into page 139, because right? I was looking for the word Everest in there. But let's clear that search. So now I'm just looking at the entirety of this book. Let's go all the way back to the beginning if we want to. There it is. Right? So we go all the way up to the beginning of this book. Now, notice in the upper right corner, there's a menu called More Actions. And I can embed the portion of the book that I'm looking at. So let's go here to the introduction. I'm going to select embed. And I'll copy that code. Now in my Google site, you can see here I have my sample site set up for a books demo. I'll choose embed, use embed code, and insert it. And there it is. I can now include that right in my Google site and I can click and drag to expand it. Now, if I want to put this into my Google Classroom, it's a very similar manner. In the upper right corner, let's hit share, copy, and here I'll put it in my Google site and say, Hi class, please read this, add that in, let's put in a link, and there it is, a link to Mount Everest Google Books, and post it right up. Now you may have noticed, right here, I also have the option to share a clip. And sharing a clip will let me highlight just a section of that page. And then I can do the same thing as before. I can embed just a section of the page. So I'll be embedding just the por portion I highlighted. Or if I go to send to copy the link, I can send an image of just that portion of the page to put in Google Classroom. So here, let's say, read this part of page seven. Add that in with the link. And I'll post that for my students. They'll see, that's exactly how they'll see it. So it's not, gr that's not the best option. Your better option would be to share the entire book and tell them to re go to page seven rather than doing a selection, but it does work. If you wanna know more about Google Books, please search through my YouTube channel or check out freetechforteachers.com.